A blast at France's tavern in Manhattan more than 40 years ago was the handiwork of a radical group fighting for Puerto Rico's independence. President Obama, in one of his final acts, pardoned the man responsible. Joining us now, the co-author of the book, Shattered Lives, Joe Connor. His father, Frank, was one of the four people killed in the France's Tavern attack. Question number one, why did President Obama release the bomber? His name was Oscar Lopez. Why did he do it? Because he agreed with them. Um, Lopez was the leader of the FALN who bombed France's Tavern. They took responsibility for it. Um, he's a Chicago guy. His brother, Jose, is a community organizer in Chicago. And he had sympathy, in my view, um, Obama had sympathy for these terrorists. Uh, they were left-wing terrorists. Was and there a connection between them, President well, Obama? Well, yeah. I mean, when, when, I was at, when I was at Lopez's parole hearing in 2011, he talked about being a community organizer from Chicago. His brother, Jose Lopez, is still a community organizer. There's lots of connections between the, the, uh, the FALN people like Luis Gutierrez, um, Obama, um, the Lopez family, the Weather Underground even. They were, the FALN's bombs were designed on the Weather Underground's model. Why did President Clinton start the original round of releases? This was back in 1999. 1999. Why did he do that? When Hillary Clinton was running for senator from New York, she wanted to have a connection to, the New, to New York. She had none. She was a carpetbagger. He was trying to create a connection with the Latino community. And if you notice, they created a model. A few years later, in New Square, New York, there was a Hasid community where four swindlers were given clemency by Clinton. 99% of that town then voted for Hillary for senator. There was an FBI investigation. And you know who uh, exonerated Clinton at the time? James Comey. So there have been a lot of connections between the, uh, and the politics all the and book? releasing people. It's all in the book. Shattered Lives. Shattered Lives. The book talks a lot about Puerto Rico independence movement and the fact that okay. these terrorists had no connection to independence. They were Marxists. They wanted There's to enslave people. Joe Connor, Shattered Lives. Thanks for joining us. Anytime, Stuart. Thanks for having Sir, me. Sir, thank you.